Hello everyone, it's Andrew from GemTCG, and today's video will be showing you how to set up your eBay store categories so that the promotions get automatically applied to them. So that way you don't have to go in and manually do any automated promotions or do manual promotions. And anytime you make a new listing in any of those categories, it will be automatically set up. And this saves a ton of time. I've set these up years ago and I haven't even had to check back on them ever again. And I've done a new thing with my store, which is I've started listing Magic the Gathering cards with TCG Automate, but I forgot to set up promotions because I just made that category, but I forgot to do it. So I'm gonna do this in real time so that you guys could see exactly how to do it. And it should be pretty simple. It's, it's, it's almost like a few buttons, honestly. And before we even get into that, Promotions that I'm going to be setting up are the ones that are called generic promotions. It's not the pay-per-click ones. I'm not a fan of those because pay-per-click is like anytime someone clicks on the listing, you will pay for that. Even if they don't buy it or add it to their card or anything, you will have to pay a certain amount. And it definitely adds up a ton when you have like popular listings or just things that are very expensive because a lot of people will be clicking on them, but they're not actually interested in buying it. And I've, I've experimented it with a few with a few different criteria and every single time I did it, I regretted it because my return on ad spend was always terrible and I was losing a lot of money from that. So the only, the only promotion type that I recommend is the generic one and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And it's also when you get a sale, let's say you set your ad to be 5%, which is what I do. Only when you get a sale through that ad, you will be paying that 5%. So it's not like you're going to be paying 5% on every single sale you make. It's only going to be the ones that are promoted. So if we search here, like Umbreon, let's just something simple, Umbreon EX. For some reason, they're not showing up here, but these ones. So see how it says sponsored right here on the bottom of these four listings or three? That is what the promotions are for. So that way, instead of being put together with every other seller, your listings are going to rank higher potentially because you are paying to be placed higher. And everyone has their opinion on whether or not you actually need to do this or not. But I think it's very much worth it because just look at the numbers here. In the last 31 days, I made 13000 in sales with a 1100 in ad fees. So if you just do the math right there, I think it's very much worth it and it allows you to do more volume, get more sales, which means you could buy more inventory and grow your store. So it's always good to have it. So let's get into it. So we're like right here you see Pokemon singles. I have one Japanese Pokemon, Pokemon English vintage. I have all these set up. These are all my store categories and the listings accounts are right there. So now I made a new one, which is Magic the Gathering. So this is exactly how you will set it up. You go on this Create New Campaign button, and then you're going to want to click on Promote Your Listings. Store and Offsite, I don't recommend. Similar to the pay-per-click, it's just very expensive with not as much return. And then for this one, the general one is what you're going to want to select. Priority is the pay-per-click that I was talking about. And then you're going to want to add your listings. So when you get to this page, you're going to want to click on category, store categories, and then select the one. So as you can see, these are the only two store categories I have that aren't set up yet. And when you get them added, it just won't display here anymore because it's already having a promotion on it. So then you select that store category. You could configure it more if you want Set a price range. I know some people, they like to do a certain promotion rate on a certain price range. So something that a lot of people like to do is cheaper cards, like $3, they're going to want to promote heavier because 10% of $3 is only 30 cents, whereas 10% of $20 is $2. So it, it adds up more as you promote for higher end cards. So you can configure that. Brand, I don't know if that would be helpful with trading cards. And then condition, I keep it blank. You could change it if you want to, but I would just say keep it as is. And then this thing, I've never seen this before. It says only recommended listings, which means it will recommend listings that you should promote 
that have a lot of sales when being promoted. So that's probably listings with a lot of competition, I would assume. And you could select that if you want. But then, like I said earlier, I just like to keep these all simple. Do a flat 5%. It's less to worry about and deal with, to be honest. Let's just see what it would do if I did that. So I guess, I don't know. You would just keep it, keep it as is. And if you want to be specific with it, go ahead. And then once you do that, you click create new rule. And then right here it shows you the rate that you're going to want to do. You could do a dynamic ad rate or a fixed ad rate. And then the dynamic one is just like it is dynamic. So when it, I, I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I'm assuming it's like if someone else has the same listing and they're promoting it at 4%, if you're promoting at 3%, they're going to show above you. But if you do dynamic up to a certain amount, then you could outrank them. So instead of you being at 3% and they're at 4 it will shift your rate dynamically to be like 4.1 or however it works there. So that way, when someone is searching for it, you will be the one that shows up. Granted, you're going to be paying more in the fees over there. And I recommend the fixed ad rate just because I don't want to I want to know my margins as accurately as possible. So if I do a fixed ad rate of 5%, I can know that I'm not going to pay any more or less than 5% in fees. So I need to price accordingly. And if you were to do that, you just click fixed ad rate, set it to five. The lowest you could do is two. Obviously it's going to recommend you a higher number because they get paid more if you're promoting at a higher number. So don't be alarmed by this number. You could change it if you want, but I've done 5% and it's worked very well for me. But let's say you want to do dynamic because some people do prefer it. You would basically, you could leave it as is, but I would not recommend that because let's say someone's promoting at 25% or something crazy, then you would outrank them at 25%. And then you're basically most likely going to be losing money. So I would set a cap if I were you. And let's say you're comfortable at 10%. You would set 10 here and then this ad rate modifier would be like, let's say someone's, let's say the recommended thing is like 5%. You can go in and say, I want to be 20% above it or something like that. You would set that number at 20. I believe that's how it works. And that's that. Again, you don't need this modifier as well. I would definitely recommend the cap though, just so you don't get screwed on a, on a certain scenario where people are promoting very heavily and then once you finish with that put a name i recommend just naming it the name of the store category so that way you have it all have it all set let me go back and put five and then the campaign duration i just leave it as continuous so that way you don't have to worry about it ending and then you have to go in and change it so just do continuous and then you click launch and I believe it takes a few, it says it takes a few minutes to start. And then once it starts, you'll be able to see on the actual listings page because right here I have these Magic the Gathering cards. And now it's being promoted with an automated campaign. So it's all set up. And then once you make a new listing, let me just see if I could show you an example. If we just test it out right here. Oh, this card's upside down. So if you go... Actually, I don't see it here, but don't be alarmed if this doesn't look like anything because once you make the listing, it'll just automatically be promoted. And the other question, well, that's that. That's basically the end of the video. So if you want, you don't have to watch anymore. But the other question I get is, how do you automate it on TCG Automate? So for that, you just go to TCG Automate. And then when you're creating a batch, you just put in your information, whatever, and it already has the store category here. So then when I create the batch and then I upload it, the promotion is already going to be applied. So you don't need to do anything else. It's already handled for you. And that's just another thing that makes everything a lot quicker. You don't have to go in and modify your listings and set a promotion every single time. Because even if it's just a few clicks, it's very time consuming. So having it all done for you automatically, super helpful. So Try this out, be creative with it if you need to, see how and experiment with different ad rates, see what works best for your store and your margins. And it's pretty simple. I should have mentioned this earlier, but I don't think it works if you don't have a basic store set up. So in order to do that, you have to go to the store category here and then 
I believe managed subscription. I'm paying 60 a month, which is crazy, but that's what you need to be able to list a lot of cards, unfortunately. And then if you're starting off, I recommend the $5 one. You don't need to get the $22 one until you're growing more and listing more, but start off with the $5 one. Ideally pay yearly, so you don't have to pay. That's almost half the price, probably 33% or whatever. And you, it opens up so many so many things that you could do to leverage more sales or leverage to get more sales, like the discounts, a store homepage, like what I've shown. A lot of people have been letting me know that they like it, which is thank you all for that. I believe you get the marketing tools as well. So definitely get a store subscription if you are serious about this. If you're just doing it as a hobby, here and there you sell a few cards, you don't need it. But if you are serious about growing your store and your eBay store or eBay business, then definitely get the store subscription and upgrade it over time. Another little hack is, I know you guys saw it right here. It showed, what is it, 250 listings a month. When you have a store subscription, you can call them and say, hey, can you guys increase my limit? I've been selling however long. I have this many reviews and all that. And if you're doing things properly, you have good feedback and all that, they will accept it and they will give you a increase on your listing. So that's a little side tip. It, it helps a lot. It helped me a ton when I was first starting off. That's about it. I hope you guys found this one helpful and hope you guys are enjoying TCG Automate. But I'll see you all in the next video.